Thanks, Senator Lincoln, we've sure. seen uh, you and Mr. Halter engage each other on television quite a bit. When are we going to get to see y'all in a debate? Well, he didn't show up last night to the Chamber of Commerce forum that they had in Jonesboro. I was there with seven of the Republicans. Um, we all responded and were showed up at the Chamber event there. And, um, you know, I don't know. We'll look forward to when there, there's some impartial parties that are going to put on some debates. We'll look forward to doing that. But uh, I think we had all seven. One of, uh, Unfortunately, um, I think Jim Holt had an accident coming over, so we hope he's um, okay and safe. But um, we started last night. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks, you think your campaign, your ideals, could actually improve the economy in the Delta, in Arkansas, um, or healthcare, whichever one you want, to, you want to tackle? Sure. Well, I think all of them are important. I think we've got to focus on the economy. It's clearly our most important issue right now. Creating jobs and putting 100,000 Arkansans back to work is, is just essential. I think creating greater certainty in Washington through the tax code. We're going to go back after this break and hopefully. Um, we'll be able to tackle one of the bigger pieces of legislation we've been dealing with, which is the tax extenders, making sure that those that in rural America are producing biofuels will actually have certainty in the tax code as to what's going to be their treatment. Um, you know, looking at multiple ways that small businesses need those tax incentives and, and the certainty of them to be able to reinvest in themselves and grow the job. Their small businesses really do produce most of the jobs in our country. Uh, and it's critical for them in these times of, when it's hard to get capital and investment, to be able to have a little greater certainty as to what the tax code is going to do. So I think that's important. I think the immediate deliverables in health care are very important. I think they give people the assurance that what we want to do is to make sure that, you know, um, insurance companies are no longer going to be able. We've got 710,000 Arkansas children now who in this year will not be able because of a pre-existing condition. Um, that's an immediate deliverable. We've got uh, about 50,000 Arkansas small businesses who, who employ about 260,000 uh, workers who this year will get a tax incentive to be able to help purchase health insurance and get them into the marketplace as we begin to build a better marketplace for them so that they'll actually be able to have access to health care like I do as a federal employee. So, um, you know, there's good steps to be taken. We also know that this year there's an immediate deliverable there as well where um, Arkansas parents uh, with young adults will now be able to, continue to to cover their children up to the age of 26. So I think some of the immediate steps in health care are reassuring to people that the things that we want to do here are good um, and that Medicare, um, as we begin to close the donut hole and reinvest in Medicare, we're going to have an extra 10 years of solvency on the Medicare trust fund. Last question. I know a lot of people are really frightened about this health care plan. What do you say to them? What I just said to you, that there's really good things immediately that we'll be doing in health care. And as we move forward, you know, this is a 10-year bill. We'll have time before, um, you know, other things that are going to be, um, other things are going to happen um, or come into play. 2012, 2014, there's a lot of things in these bills that don't even go into effect until then. And so we have plenty of time as we look at these immediate, immediate deliverables um, that are going to be very important to small businesses, to Medicare, uh, to children. Um, we'll see those immediate deliverables, and as we move forward in the next 10 years, we'll be able to figure out where we need to correct things. We pass sometimes one, two, three health care bills a year. We'll have a great opportunity.